Welcome, pilots! This video is part of my guide detailing every high security combat site. In most of these videos, you'll see me flying an assault frigate called the Ishker. This is mainly because it's my favorite ship to fly, but it is actually quite well suited for this site in particular. Combat anomalies appear in your probe scanner window, and you can warp to them immediately. The Garista's hideaway is a combat anomaly found all over Caldari space. It's quick to run, even for newer pilots flying a frigate. And it does have the potential for some great loot drops. So if you're a new Caldari pilot looking to make some quick isk, fly around from system to system looking for the Garista's hideaway. This site is not to be confused with the Garista's hideout, which is a combat signature that must be probed down. Nor its three variations, the Garista's hidden hideaway, Garista's forsaken hideaway, or Garista's forlorn hideaway, which are all more difficult than the regular Garista's hideaway. The site consists of either a bunker or an observation post at its center. There are four waves of up to three Garista's frigate or corvette NPCs. None of the structures drop anything of value. If you're lucky, a bonus wave may appear with a frigate identified as a Dread Garista's. The Dread Garista's NPC will always drop a Dread Garista's copper tag, and either 1,000 Garista's light missiles or rockets, or 1,000 rounds of Dread Garista's small charge ammunition. If you're even more lucky, it may also drop a Dread Garista's module, a crystal or hydra implant, or a single-run blueprint copy for a worm. These are the prizes you're hoping for, if you're out looking to make some isk. Destroying all NPCs also has a small chance of escalating to a Garista's Scout Outpost, which is normally otherwise found by probing down combat signatures. Escalations will appear on the Exploration tab of the Agency window. A ship like the Ishker, fit with railguns, is capable of running this site in under a minute. For newer Caldari pilots, a Merlin fit with railguns, or a Kestrel fit with light missiles, works almost as well. In fact, almost any frigate or destroyer is capable of running the site quickly, with tactical destroyers being the most efficient. Many larger ships can actually be a detriment, as their lock times tend to be too long to compete against frigates or destroyers. If you're out in a cruiser class ship or larger, I would recommend either an Orthrus or a ship with a supply of auto-targeting light missiles. While recording the footage for this video series, I kept track of the statistics for 100 Garista's hideaway sites. Over this period, seven of these spawned a Dread Garista's pirate. Only one of these dropped something beyond the faction ammo and tag. In this case, it was a blueprint copy for a mid-grade Hydra Alpha implant. Ten of the sites escalated to a Garista's scout outpost, though I only ran the seven of these that spawned in high security space. I'll be detailing the Garista's scout outpost site in a separate video, but for the purpose of detailing loot drops, these were my statistics. The best result was the Pitham C-type multi-spectrum shield hardener, which is pretty much exactly what you're hoping for. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more EVE Online combat site guides. In high security Caldari space, you'll also find the Garista's burrow, refuge, and den among the combat anomalies, as well as combat signatures named the Garista's hideout, lookout, watch, and vigil. Other NPC pirates include rogue drones, the Serpentis, Angel Cartel, Blood Raiders, and Sancha's Nation. Throughout 2020, I completed my guide for the High Security Serpentis combat sites. If you find yourself in Galent space, you can check out those videos right now. You can find all of my EVE Online content in the gaming section of my website over at RileyEntertainment.com. This includes sections that I'll be expanding upon in the coming months for high security combat sites and the Cosmos missions and sites.